coming home from the gym, which is why my hair looks crazy, but we had a good workout. I was in there for about an hour. So yeah, that's that. So we're taking off the waist trainer, girl. Ain't nothing like taking off your waist trainer at the end of the day, okay? I've had my waist trainer on for about, I'm gonna say I've had it on for about four hours. Yeah, I'll say about four hours now. So I've done pretty well. I think you're supposed to wear it like six hours a day, but I had it on for four. So I'm releasing my shelf, shelf? <laughs> myself from the waist trainer shackle and we're gonna get in the shower so for my shower so I'm gonna let y'all know what I'm using in the shower um very simple I think I talked about it before and I'm still using the same thing so I'm gonna exfoliate my body tonight it is a Monday night and I just feel like you know it's nothing like starting the week off with a good exfoliation so that is what I'll be doing so I use my Dove bar plain original bar and then body wash, I'm going to be using the Neta body wash, the lilac and white tea. And then, well, not in this order, but to moisturize, I mean, not to moisturize, to exfoliate, I'm going to be using the Tree Hut Sugar Scrub and the Scent Exotic Bloom. This one smells really good and it's perfect for springtime, which is, ooh, ooh, it smells so good, which is what we're approaching. So really fresh, really vibrant, but I love the way it smells. So yeah, let's go ahead and just... So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the shower. What he says, he can have you when I go. Okay, ladies and gents, so we are out of the shower. I'm not wearing anything special tonight. I'm matching though, but just a little t-shirt and some shorts. <laughs> I'm matching, so that's what matters. You know, I always try to go to bed decent. I don't ever go to bed looking just crazy. You know what I'm saying? I like to feel kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie, it's real hot. Like I didn't work out, hot shower, like boom, boom, boom. I'm damn near dying. So let me put on my air real quick. One moment though. Child, why the hell is it 75 degrees in my house? That's insane. So we're about to wash my face. I'm going to be using the Natrium, the Natrium Nacinamide Cleansing, this one. Y'all know, Target. So yeah, just going to wash all of that off. I need it, baby. I need to make sure I thoroughly take my time and like wash my face. Cause baby, when I tell you I had me a long weekend tonight, today is Monday, so baby, I had me a long weekend. A lot of drinking, it was my sister's uh, birthday, so you know the vibes. So I'm gonna exfoliate because it's Monday, might as well start the week off, like I said, with some nice exfoliation. And like I said, I do get my hair done tomorrow, so my skin will already look real clear. So if I do my part for real, for real, I'm gonna look real clear. Y'all got this freaking exfoliator from Ross. It is from La Soe Clinical Skin Care. It's a botanical facial scrub. It is so good. It doesn't like, you know, foam up or anything it's just a nice gentle scrub and i really love it and i'm so happy i came across it and i appreciate it so well i feel like it does the job now my face is a little dry like once i take it off but i mean isn't that what's supposed to happen because it's getting off you know all the dirt and oil so yeah i fuck with it all right so now that i've exfoliated i'm actually gonna brush my teeth because i have this bad habit of doing my skincare and then brushing my teeth afterwards and it's like I'm wiping off the skincare around my mouth. <laughs> so I'm about to brush my teeth real quick and then we'll get back into the skincare. Oh, I didn't do my mouthwash. Hold on a moment though, let me have this real quick. On Twitter, somebody said that that mouthwash make your mouth feel like it's getting a tune up and that, like that couldn't be a more accurate description of what that mouthwash feels like. <laughs> okay, so to put the moisture back in my face, <clears throat> I don't think Mac sells this anymore. But I love you and using this on my clients, especially my dry skin girly. It's the it's the Mac Lifeful C3. It's a radiant high day. I cannot talk tonight. If y'all, I'm like editing it all out. But y'all, I have missed. I don't know if I'm tired. I mean, it is almost 1 a.m. So maybe I am tired and I talk for a living. But I can't talk to y'all right now. But anywho, I am using the Mac Lifeful C3 Radiant hydration skin renewal lotion um so this is just more of like just a night radiant glazed donut type of one too you feel me and then for moisturizer i'm gonna use my good molecules hydrating ultra hydrating sheen what ultra hydrating facial oil y'all this is sick <laughs> i am literally like oh my god and i like to just press that in i don't really like to rub it all over my face I just kind of like to press it in. I was 
was watching somebody's nighttime routine and they were saying that some people don't put on deodorant at night. Do y'all not put on deodorant at night? I just feel like unmoisturized if I don't have it on. Like I feel, it just be real dry under my arms. I don't know, maybe y'all don't suffer from dry arms. Maybe me and that girl do, I don't know. Um, I don't have any lotion right now, y'all. And this is the body oil I got left. I'm down bad, I ain't gonna lie. I am down bad when it comes to my body like products. So I need to read up real bad. I just read up on my skincare. So I need to do my body care. Cause at first it was a, it was the opposite. At first I had all the oils and lotion in the world, but my skincare was lacking. But now that my skincare is, you know, skincare, my body stuff is not body. All right, so we're clean. Skin is clean, skin is looking good okay period now we're gonna head to the kitchen because it is time to make me something to eat because a bitch is hungry okay now um just realistically i am a late eater i am i it's one in the morning i'm finna cook um <laughs> i haven't been eating super heavy um and i'm honestly might not eat because i'm gonna tell y'all why i might not eat because one it's late well that really don't matter but i drank a detox tea i'm gonna just be this might be a little tmi i drank a detox tea and it's on my ass right now so i kind of don't want to reverse what i've done we'll just probably clean out our palette and just wait till tomorrow but since it is monday and i am trying to just be better and just be on my shit i am going to still cook and just probably meal prep it and maybe just you know have a little taste but i might not make me a full meal and on top of that on top of that i didn't take my hair down my hair appointment is in the morning, and I, but thank God I have a girl that's, you know, a wash comes with their service. I don't have to worry about washing and detangling my own hair, but I do need to wash my weave. So I got a long night, but I'm not tripping because I am a night owl and a bitch be up late. But yeah, I'm about to get to cooking. We're going to get to meal prepping because like I said, even if I don't eat, I still need some meal prep so that I can stay disciplined, stay on my shit, not be buying food because that's just what I've been on lately. I'm trying to do no carbs for the next three days, um, at least when it comes to my dinner. Now when it comes to my breakfast, I work from home. I need the carbohydrate car carbohydrates i need my coffee i need that shit but when it comes to dinner i can be more disciplined like not having the mashed potatoes not having the rice just you know protein and vegetable that's been doing me well so we're trying to stay up on that so let's get to cooking tonight for dinner or for these next three days is going to be salmon and broccoli or salmon and brussels sprouts i might switch them out but that's what we got right now while i'm cooking i'm listening to megan ashley's podcast because yesterday was sunday and i did not do like anything spiritual or anything yesterday or poured into my spiritual side and i'm gonna be honest i honestly haven't i feel like i haven't spent time with god in a minute and that's just you know the truth it all ha it happens um but tonight i wanted to make sure that i was intentional and you know trying to spend time with god where i could like you know what i'm saying um yeah, so I, you know, I decided to film. I can work out, but I really wanted to take some time to spend some time with God. So I'm watching Megan Ashley's podcast. Um, she's one of my favorite, like faith based, faith based podcasts. If you guys are, you know, you listen to faith based podcasts, um, drop some down below that you think are really good. She's really her and who else? Is there anyone else? I think she's the only faith based podcaster I listen to. And everything else, if I'm, you know, pouring into, you know, God and spending time with God, it's like, you know, actual sermons. But she's my one and only faith-based podcast. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now while my food is cooking. So, y'all just want to check in and let you guys know that every night is not a wine night. Every night, you know, you know, we don't get late and go to sleep. You know, sometimes I do want to just kind of go to sleep and just spend time with God. Like, you know, my hair appointment is tomorrow, so I want to be in the best spirit ever. I still haven't taken my hair down. Oh my God, I need to do that as soon as I'm done filming. But yeah, just want to put that out there and let you guys know what's tea when it comes to, you know, what I'm doing. Um, and yeah. But I'm learning this time that I have with him is so beautiful because I get to cultivate a more intimate relationship. That I'm not just sitting here waiting for nothing. That he's preparing something for me, specifically for me. 
and he's and he's getting it ready for, for me, just like I was getting breakfast ready for my children. And that when the door opens, when I open the door for them, all they had to do was walk downstairs and eat. And I believe the same thing. I believe that God, he, even when, our, when we're waiting and we don't feel his presence and we don't hear him respond and all of those things, it can offer such a great opportunity for you to be discouraged. But don't be discouraged. Be encouraged that he is a God that is near. He's near to the brokenhearted. He's near and preparing something for you, spe specifically for you, something special for you. Trust and trust in him. Trust in his timing because he's never failed. And, and learn to have a heart that is okay with whatever he says and whatever he declares for your life. Don't allow the enemy to manipulate you and to cause you to be offended with God because he's, he's trying to produce some patience in you. He's trying to produce some perseverance in you, some long suffering in you. That's okay because those are the characteristics of God. And say hi. And we're going to do a maintenance vlog. I need to go to Target. I need to go to um, Ross or something because I don't have no type of luggage. Like, you know, we've been in this relationship a long time. Y'all never really seen me travel for real. And we know we're trying to change that. We're trying to, you know, grow up in life. So I need to give me like a little carry-on luggage or something just so I can manifest more trips in my life. Um, but yeah, I've been really manifesting this um, Austin trip because I just love Austin so much. And if y'all were here for my dark times and when I used to work at Austin, y'all know what that was like. So if you were if you were here for that time, I never really enjoyed Austin. I just always went to go work, get money for my rent, and go back home. I never enjoyed it. I never really went out to eat. None of that. <laughs> I just went, work, came back home. So yeah it's finally my time and I and I always said that and I always said that one day I'm gonna go to Austin and vibe and just enjoy Austin I always said that I would do that and it's crazy how like two years later here we are we're gonna go on staycation so yeah girls that's what's tea so yeah we have some errands to run some things to do I'm trying to just decide I need to sit down really quick and just plan out my maintenance and see when am I going to do what? Because I have three days to figure this out. Well, tomorrow for sure, for sure, is hair appointment. So, we got to take this down tonight. Um, but my install really lasted. Like, it ain't no cap lifted. Like, it's just old. And, like, my leave out. You know, I just can't get my leave out right anymore. So, that just means time for a new install. So, yeah, I'm thinking about side part. Go bust down middle part of side. Yeah, so I'm thinking about side part. Um... But yeah, I feel like I'm talking in circles because I have to pee and I can't think anymore. So, um, but once I figure out my life and figure out where we're going, if I'm going anywhere tonight, because I'm honestly, I don't know, I gotta pee. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I made it to Target. So I'm in the accessories section looking at stuff. They didn't really have no earrings or anything that I liked. The section was a little empty, but I did find like these little double hoops, these little small ones. So I'm gonna go with these. And then, I see this green purse, but then I see this one too. And one of my outfits do got green in it. So I'm just trying to see which one I want. So I'm gonna walk around with both of them in my car and I figure out which one I want. So yeah, but I think I'm gonna go with one of them because y'all remember I had that return, right? My return was like $21. These purses are both like 25 each. So I'm only paying 20, I'm only paying five dollars. If you're being technical, you've been okay. So, in my thing, we have um, I need a toiletry bag, so I'm gonna get that right now. So, these are our options. I feel like I can get a more affordable one though at Ross, but I'll probably get this black one. I mean, it's whatever, it's $20. I feel like that's enough. Put my brushes at the top makeup at the bottom and I'm not somebody who like packs hella palettes and shit like that anymore so I mean I feel like this should be fine it's $20 or should I get the gold one or should I get something like this because this is like really deep is it anything inside is it like a little bag inside let's see let's 
Shit. Wait, wait, wait. Um, it's like this little pouch. Hmm. I don't know what I need in a travel makeup bag because I never packed one. So this one is $35 and it's like a big clear one and then it has two little bags on the inside. But it's $35 and I don't think, I just feel like I don't want to spend that much money on this bag. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go with this, hold on. I'm going to go with this big flat one. It's not like the cutest, but it's flat and it has two sides. It got two sides, a clear side, and this side, and this little flap has a zipper too. So I feel like that'll be enough for me. I don't wear that much makeup anymore, so where I need like, and even if I wanted to pack a palette, I could. So this one wins. I finally found the Target that got the Ulta in it too. And I'm just trying my hardest not to go over there. So toiletry bag, done. Let's go look at the luggage, cause that's like, my next biggest thing all right y'all so i found this one i'm confused on how like my shoes is just supposed to fit in here but people pack these all the time i've never bought a carry-on and people pack these all the time and just I think she packed one and she's in Vegas right now. And I feel like it was the same one or size. It's just in my head, I'm like, how? But I don't know. I'ma just, I'ma still get it though. But I'm just like, how? But I feel like I can do it. I can do it. Just pack light, pack tight. All right, let me guide these people establishment. They close in like 40 minutes. So I'm not gonna be that person. Well, I am that person right now, but I'm not trying to be that person. <laughs> getting my hair done so I went side part um side part is not my favorite I love my hair don't get me wrong but every time I get a side part I always have to get used to it but yes I love my hair um I did come home though and add me a little sideburn because I should have told her because that's how I like my side parts I need a sideburn because I have this thing about my face it's just I have a big head and my face is kind of fat so when it's just complete just nothing here I feel like it does not 
flatter my face very well. But once I add the sideburn, I'm like, oh, she cute. So yeah, I had to come home and add me a little sideburn. And I should have told her, but me and Shay, when we, when she be doing my hair, we be talk, 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 like the whole two hours. No one shuts the fuck up. So I, I didn't get a chance to tell her, but I'm like, you know, it's nothing. I know she left out quite a few, like, you know, a good amount of hair on this side so that I was able to pull it out. So yeah, got my little sideburn because I feel like the sideburn just adds an even more natural touch to it because I'm the type of person and I'm sure a lot of y'all can relate because I hear people say this a lot, but I hate when my hair looks too done. But when I have my little sideburn, it just gives like a little messier look and just as this gets older with the sideburn, it just makes it look so much more natural. Like yeah, this my hair, hello. But um, yeah, so what I'm about to do is I'm gonna make me a quick little breakfast. I never got a chance to make my yogurt bowl, so I'm gonna make my yogurt bowl one or two. And I need to go to work, because I'm already like an hour late. But one thing I'm gonna do with my wellness time is go get my hair done. Each time I've gotten my hair done, well, this past install, all three times, my silk press, my past install, and this one, I've used a wellness time. So, because I mean, is this not wellness? Do I not feel good? Am I not well right now? I didn't make the rules. I didn't make the rules. But yeah, I'm gonna make me a little yogurt, my little yogurt bowl breakfast because I'm craving one and I finally read up on my yogurt and my honey. So yeah. And um, so yeah, about to go to work. Y'all might not see me because I'm just gonna be dry at work. Um and I think we're gonna go to the mall tonight because there's some things I wanna pick up from the mall. So yeah, I got one more work day and then I am out of here. Ugh. <sighs> My camera's still about to die, but I'm gonna try to do this until it dies. So, hey, you guys, I am back home. Bitch, when I tell you, I am so tired. Like, I had to go to the gallery, and y'all know that is the Olympics in itself. Okay, so quick little haul. Well, last night, I went to Target. Y'all were with me. Um, I tried this shirt on today, so that's why it's right here. So I'm gonna show y'all. Um, I got my pink carry-on. It's over there. I don't feel like going to go get it. Not gonna lie. And I got me um, another uh, lip injection. From two from Too Faced, I got the mini one, the maximum, the super pink one. That's what I bought. And then I got this little white, hold on, this little white crop top with the square neck. Thought it'd be really cute. I like the square necks. Is they're really feminine and pretty, like neckline. I ended up getting this green purse. I never get colored purses, but my best friend let me have this one this pink one and I'm just like oh my god like you know I need to start exploring with more colors so got me a little cute little green purse because I thought that was cute and I only spent $10 on it because I had that gift card um and then when I went to the mall today I went to Zara and got me another white tee because I feel like I have an outfit in my head where I need a shirt like this and these are just always good to have so got me another white tee from Zara it was only $10 and then I got these New Balances. Thought these were super cute. So they look like, has like the little yellow in them. So I think that they'll look cute if I wear it like with that bag or something. And then, is that everything? Yeah, that was it from there. Oh, and then I went to Sephora and I got me some body, the body butter and the spray to go along with it. It smells good. Believe the hype. You need it. Go get it. And then I also got me a new concealer as well. Because I've been wanting to try a new concealer. Um, so I got the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know the name. Radiant Concealer. Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer in the color 11.510. Um, I have on two concealers because she tried one on. She tried one on this side and one on this side. Um, I got the one on this side. And then I also need another brown lip liner because they are sold out of MAC Chestnut and I cannot find my MAC Chestnut. So a brown lip liner for me is just essential in my everyday whether I'm wearing makeup or not. So the lady actually recommended this one is Fashion Fair. And the only reason why I got it, if y'all know, if you a retail makeup retail girly and you worked in makeup retail like around 2017, you know Fashion Fair is like, it's not a joke, but it's a joke between us. So I'm like, hmm. But Fashion Fair had a cute little setup in Sephora. So I was like, let me not shit on them. I know they got new owners and stuff like that. And the lady, she was brown skin like me. And she was like, it's really good. It's really creamy. It's like what we need. So let's try it out. I was like, okay, I'm going to trust you. She, could, she did not find a tester. So I was like, okay, I'm going to trust you. I shouldn't never trust her. It's too dark. 
Okay, I'm gonna return this. I'm not gonna cap. It's too dark. Look at this. This is a Char Charlotte Tilbury one. It's kind of, it's kind of. This is way sweet. This is close to brown. I mean, not brown. This is close to black. I should never trust her. I'm gonna put on my lips because you know you can return it. Oh baby. That's a, hold on. Let's go to the restroom. But when I did that hand swatch, now compared to the Mac Chestnut on my hands, I really don't know what it looks like. So let me see. Um I'm knocking shit over. <laughs> Let's see. I know y'all probably like you putting it all over your lips and gonna return it. Yes. I work in makeup retail, baby. You can return anything. They're gonna throw it away anyways. So, um, I mean, well, I still think it's too dark. I think this one, the Charlotte Tilbury could have been a little better. This is just too dark. Deep. I wish I had like a gloss right here. I got a gloss in here. I'll use this pink buxom gloss and see. I barely got any in here, but let's see. Mm, what y'all think? I think it's too dark. I think it doesn't have enough like red in it. Here, let me turn on this light. This will really tell me. Hmm. I mean, y'all probably like Leah. Well, you know what? That's not bad at all. Now that I can see it in some good lighting. I still would just prefer Mac Chestnut because it's just what I'm used to. But that's honestly not bad. It is very rich though. Hmm, I don't know, what you guys think? Maybe I can work with it. I did kind of go a little heavy handed. Okay, whatever. So yeah. My camera about to die. Y'all, I'm so hungry and starving. I'm so happy I meal prepped last night, but I'm gonna make me some rice with my stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hungry. Salmon and broccoli is just not. I need a little, okay? I'm finna to put all this shit away, eat my food, and I have to edit. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight. Um, It's been a good day though. It's been a good day. I have nothing more to say because my brain feel like it's about to explode. Cause I'm not hungry, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey you guys, so it is the next day. I have just got off of work, which means it is officially my vacation. <sighs> I don't have to go to work Thursday or Friday and I love that for me. Um, So what's about to happen is I'm about to go to the nail shop so I can get my feet done and my nails done. Now, I'm really disappointed that I cannot get an appointment with my nail tech, but I just feel like if I go to a nail shop, you cannot go wrong with just a short white set. <sighs> I am so nervous about getting this short white set. I'm gonna see what type of nails they use. If they still use a nail that got a curve in it, I'm probably gonna give me a short white set. But if they use the, the good ones, y'all know, the, the up-to-date nails, then I'm just gonna probably do like a baby pink powder. Like, you know, you something I can't go wrong with. You feel me? And I really, 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 really wanna get my eyebrows done. Cause that's just gonna top off me getting my hair done. Like my face, the way it look and everything. <sighs> but I'm just so nervous. I know my nail shop closes at 7. It's already 6.39. But the nail shop that I went and got my feet done at the last time. I really like the way they did pedicures. They close at 8. So... <sighs> It, when I went there the first time, I was like, who good with brows? And she, he pointed me to the girl who do brows. I'm just so nervous because I am so picky about my brows. Like, if they come out ugly, 
I that's gonna ruin my whole vibe. Like I'ma hate everything about me. If my brows come out ugly, bruh, I don't know. I'ma flip it. I'ma flip. So I don't know, bitch. I don't know. Why is my camera always dying? Well, I did only put it on the charger for a little bit last night and then I started editing. So that's why it's dying. Fuck. Well, I guess we'll just vlog off my phone, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that's what it's giving. I'm so nervous, though. I'm scared. But I need them done, though. Like, I really want them done. Like, I don't know. We're going to see. Pray for me. I'm going I'm to see the vibe. I'm going to see if God is leading me to do it. If he ain't leading me to do it, then I'm not giving this bitch a chance. And I'm just going to have to go without... And I'm just going to have to just go without my brows being done. But, you know, it's just going to really top off my face. I'm still getting used to having a side part, too, because I'm such a middle part girly. So, having a side part really do be kind of... It do be a little bit for me to get used to. Like, it's like, I feel like when you got a side part, you be holding your head like this all day. <laughs> because you are, you try to get that bang out your face. I didn't curl it or anything. I just took it out of my bonnet. My curls fail too, but it's fine. I know how to curl. Um, but yeah, I'm just talking about nothing. Really just trying to stall so my phone can charge. So yeah, I will see you guys once I get to the email shop. So. Alrighty, you guys. So I finally made it home. Girl, I had to go to my parents' house after I left get my nails. And oh, here are my nails. So it's given early 2000s. It is. But I'm honestly not that mad at it. My cuticles are a little ashy, so excuse that. But I'm honestly not mad at it. Like, I mean, is it like my favorite set? No. But it's cute. And I don't have to worry about putting on press-ons and then popping off. So these are how my press-ons be looking. Cause I always get like fresh press-ons. So I just, you know, I just hate how thick the pinky is. Like why do the white come up so high? Like, you know, like I said, it's not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. But like I said, it's, it's kind of a nostalgic vibe. And like I said, I'm not mad at it. Tell me, tell me what you guys think. So I went to my parents' house because I did get some packages. Um, I ordered some stuff from Amazon. So we should go ahead and box that together, right, kids? Well, y'all ain't kids, but let me not disrespect y'all like this. So let's see. So we got a box. I still take all, get all my packages delivered um, to my parents' house. I say that all the time because I just don't trust apartments. And my friend that stay upstairs, she's gotten her package stolen like two or three times. So yeah. I'm not playing them type of games. And I don't have like a ring camera or anything outside to go beat their ass when I see somebody do it. I don't have none of that. So, yeah. All right, so in this first box, all, all this box, well, this is kind of big. So I got me some lashes. These seem to be pretty cute. So I got me a pack of lashes. It's 10 pairs. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Look to the side. Yeah, they look pretty fluffy. So this is my type of lash, you know. Got a couple spaces in it, but not too wide. Turn them to the side. They're pretty fluffy, so yeah. So when I go to Austin, I do plan on taking my own pictures. And I just haven't taken my own pictures in so long. And I just want, I need one of these type of tripods for just when I'm, I'm doing, I'm more consistent with my reels and things like that, so. I feel like I finally needed one. So yeah, got me a new stick. I'm not gonna I'm not going to um I'm not gonna take it out the package. I'm not gonna take it out the package right now because I mean y'all have seen these everywhere. But if you want to know mine, of course I'll link it down below or at least I'll try to it. If I don't, just let me know in the comments and I will do so. So next tacky jaw. What is this? Look at the packaging. It's so like messed up. But I did. Why does it look like this? Y'all did not have to send me the ugly package. But I did get me some eye patches. And these are a lot of eye patches. This came, I don't remember how much it was. I think it was about 20 bucks. 
and I was looking up eye patches because I do like to wear them and they do like actually work when you're consistent with them but I don't know what it was I just didn't want to buy the topicals one because I just feel like everybody wearing them I don't know I just didn't want to buy that one and these were like next to topicals so I was like let me try these um but yeah it's for adult under eyes and sometimes my under eyes can get pretty dull so yeah got me some eye patches and baby one thing about girls we're gonna put on them eye patches okay we're going to put on them eye patches <laughs> so yeah i wanted some eye patches because i did start wearing some recently and i'm like okay i kind of like this but can i get a larger quantity like i i started wearing some that i got from target okay so next is these um yoga pants because i don't these like they a little small damn so i should have got an extra large i'm thinking because look at this this looks small this is not like a large i mean granted it does stretch so let's try them on but i got me some yoga pants too but yeah i got me some yoga pants because i just saw them on the site and i was like i don't have any so i need some and sometimes when i be wearing my little uh black when i be wearing my little sets or whatever the sets never come with like the yoga pants they always come with like the um the tights and i'll be wanting some yoga pants okay no they fit girl you just gotta stretch them out that's all that's it that's all but no they fit and they fit really good and they're nice and snug let me show y'all it's a mess in my kitchen so don't mind it <sighs> let me show y'all oh lord okay so like all the way down to the bottom. That's the back. I thought that that was a cute little detail. Okay, period. So that's the back. So yeah, these are these are really comfortable. I'll definitely link these down below if you guys are interested. Um, yeah, I thought that they wasn't gonna fit, but no, they fit really good. And I have like tummy control and the back is like super sexy i honestly did not know that the back had this i didn't even pay attention to that when i uh when i well i saw the butt scrunching but i didn't know that it was like b like i didn't pay i don't know i ordered these late late at night <laughs> so i didn't pay attention to that but that is super sexy i like that oh no i know what these these are anklets I did order some anklets. Well, I didn't order some anklets. They were sitting in my cart. And I didn't know that I actually ordered them. But I got one, two, three, four. I have five anklets. I wonder how much this was. It must have had not been a lot because I didn't even notice it. But they got, they got a cute little weight to them. It's okay. Well, I'm going to put these on then. Because I know that I was saying I needed some more, but I didn't know that I actually ordered some. <gasps> Period. Okay. Good. Well, got me some anklets. Um, yeah, so that's everything I got from Amazon. Okay, so I am, one, I need to, st so one, I need to start packing because my bus leaves at 8.30 in the morning. So I need to start packing. And I'm hungry. Like, I don't know why I didn't get me nothing to eat before I came home, but... I just was ready to come home. I ain't gonna lie, I was in a nail shop for a minute. They took a minute on my nails and stuff. Like, it took them a while. But I just didn't wanna wear press. I was like, I didn't wanna have to deal with that. I didn't wanna have to deal with that. So I just got these, and it is what it is. Whatever, at least my, at least my nails are done. You know, talk with you. I talk with my hands. So I want my nails to be done. But yeah, I had my curls filled. <laughs> so I'm kinda like not like giving maintenance vlog. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fully given and i did not get my eyebrows done because one it took them forever and by the time i left the shop the shop closed at eight i didn't leave the shop till like 9 30 so i'm like i'm not gonna do that to that lady one and it's not my lady so if i would have been there longer if i would have been at that shop longer and would have not liked my eyebrows i would have been so like my mood i would be so pissed like me not liking my brows ruins my entire day like, I don't give a fuck. If my brows are ugly, it ruins my entire day. And anybody that I come across, I'm going to ruin your day too with my attitude because my brows are ugly. Like, that's... I've always been that way. Like, since I was a teenager. Because I've been getting my eyebrows done for a very long time. So, yeah. 
Yes, huns. Um, I don't know if this vlog is going to end here or if it's going to end with maybe a montage of me packing. I don't know, girl. But if it ends here, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for watching me get myself back together. Okay, hair is done. Nails is done. Toes is done. Toes is French. She bodied my toes, though. Toes real cute. And you see how I got like, the little pink tint in my nails? Excuse this, y'all. Excuse this. <laughs> but I got like the little pink tint in my nails. It's the same tint on my toes. And I'm telling you, I love when a nail shop, like, because every time I go to the nail shop, they don't be understanding. Can I get like the pink tint in my toes? They really don't be understanding what I say. But when I go to a nail shop and they understand what I mean, it just, the French hits different when you got that, mm, that sexy little pink tint. Yeah. Yeah.